Hey everyone, it's Kayla. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback about the OneNote planner videos I've been creating. I created one about how to sync your calendar to your OneNote planner. And then I also just recently created one about how to put stickers in there more easily. So I actually want to do a video on how to create your own planner. So I'm going to recreate this leader standard work planner that I already have here in OneNote. It's really easy to set up your own planner. But the thing is, I've been watching YouTube videos and I've been seeing people showing them importing an entire PDF planner, like an like a standard digital planner that you might use in like the GoodNotes app, for example. And those planners are amazing because when you're using GoodNotes, they're linked. And so with that, whenever you click on a button, it takes you to a new page, which means you need to have lots of links and lots and lots of pages in that PDF. So that file ends up being like over 400 pages. And so there's people on YouTube telling you to insert an entire 400 page PDF into your planner. And I just feel like that is not very efficient. And so I wanna show you the easiest way that I know how to create a planner in OneNote without importing 400 plus pages. So I actually do have a leader standard workbook planner that is made for GoodNotes that is linked and I can tell you it's almost 500 pages long. And so but the thing is every month we have the same templates for the month, for my, the week, the leader standard uh, work template. We have the same templates for the daily pages. Um, and then I also have other templates like an annual goals um, setting template and a project list. And so um, I'm gonna recreate this planner using my Leader Standard Workbook files and templates without having to import that entire like four or 500 page PDF. So it's super easy, so let's go. So you just click the plus sign over here on the side to create a new notebook. And I'm just gonna call this Demo Notebook. You can change the color of it. I'll just leave it purple here for our purposes. And then you hit Create. Oh, oh! I already created a demo before, so I'm going to hit Demo Notebook 1. <laughs> I had to try it out, you guys, before I posted this on YouTube. Okay, so now we're going to come over here to this. You have your Section 1. If I go back out here, you'll, you'll see I have Demo Notebook 1. Hit the ellipsis, and you can hit Edit. And I'm just going to click on this new Section 1 and click the pencil down below and hit Rename. And I'm going to call this January. Um... I'm also going to, while I'm at it, um, just change this tab color to show you. So you also hit the pencil below and hit change section color. So I'll just change it to pink. So now you have your month section created. And now in the untitled page, this is where you're gonna put your inserts. So I'm gonna say January 2022 monthly. And then I'm gonna make another page down here, hitting the plus page. And I'm gonna do January, I'm due um, January, can't type and talk. Um, I'm gonna do week one, leader standard work. Now don't worry if you don't know what this means because um, you can check out my channel for more info on my leader standard workbook, but it's the planner that I have for leaders to help us find success. And it has some standard work templates in there and the other templates that I showed you as well. All right, and now I just create pages for each day of the week. And you can do this all the way through the entire month. All right, so that's January. That's how you would create an entire month. And then let's just add another section. So instead of adding February, which you could add February next, I'm just gonna add a section for active projects because then I'm gonna show you guys a different template. And you can name this whatever you want. Maybe you're working on a specific project. So let's let's just call it Project X. Okay, mysterious. I like it. Okay, so now you have your sections made. You just keep going through and you can create more pages within sections just like we did here with January. So now I'm happy with my January section. I'm going to add my template. So what I actually did for you guys was create a bundle I'll pull it up here, a OneNote bundle. So instead of importing the entire um, PDF planner of like hundreds of pages, they're the same pages repeating every month, but they are, they are specific to the month, at least in my planner. So I do have the 
the months um, highlighted here so you know what month you're in. So I have a daily page for January, a weekly leader standard work, and a leave happy tasks page, which is sort of my trademark. And then um, the monthly layout. I have this for every month. And I also have um, other templates in here as well, like the active project list, which we're going to look at. I have the annual goal setting. You can see I even have cute little icons down here, like the target for goals. Goal setting for organizational and personal and professional. I even have the back cover and the front cover of the notebook. Blank pages, dot pages. There's a front cover. It's so pretty. I love the gold foil. Um, grid pages, an idea board, line pages, a one-on-one -on -one meeting notes template page, and of course the vision board. I love the little visionary guy with the binoculars down here. So this is only 48 PNGs versus a 500 page planner. <laughs> I think that's so much easier. So what I'm going to do is just select the page I want instead of importing the entire PDF, finding the page, and then sorting it. So I know I want January, so I'm going to be in the draw mode, and in the text mode, I'm going to put my cursor on the page, hit insert, and then there's two ways to do this. If you download the bundle and save the PNGs to your pictures, you can use the pictures um, section of the menu and choose it from there. I happen to have mine saved in my files, so I'm going to hit file, and then I'm just going to hit January monthly, and it's going to put that in there super fast import then you can just resize it um, the cool thing about and then move it around the cool thing about OneNote is that it pretty much gives you like infinite space to draw and so don't really worry about like how big things are um, because you can see you can like zoom out and you have plenty of space <laughs> so if I like where that's at I will tap it and hit, hit set picture as background. That way, if you go to draw over it or add a picture over the file, um, it's going to uh, allow you to, you know, write on it without, you know, worrying. So it will allow the picture that's below it to stay below it and it won't move the picture. So I love that about that feature. So that's how you make it permanent. Okay, so that's the monthly. Now I'm going to go to insert, put my cursor down here, be in the, sorry, draw, text mode, put my cursor down, insert, file, and now I'm in the weekly, so I'm going to put the weekly um, template in. All right, I like how that looks. Very nice, and then set pictures background. So now you have the monthly and your weekly here in your notebook. All ready to go for when you're ready to write. Just zoom in here, come in here and draw. And then let's just try a um, daily page. Same process as before. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to set this picture as the background. So that's how you would set up your month. So now you have, you can see, you have your week one, your monthly, that daily in January. I can come over here now and I can do, I can be draw, text mode, put my cursor down, insert, file, and I'm gonna find my active project list. I love this project list for communicating with my boss and for my, having my direct report share what they're doing with me so I know what's up. <laughs> All right, so now that's there. So anytime I wanna to go to a project, I could create another page and I could create, you know, project Y. And then now I'm very organized, everything's in one place. Obviously this is a list for multiple projects, but maybe I have like sub projects within, you know what I'm saying. I'm just showing you how you can name them and organize it for yourself. So. That's how you create your own planner without inserting like a huge PDF file. If you're interested in grabbing the um, OneNote Leader Standard Workbook bundle, um, the link to my website is below and you can go grab that and you'll be able to download all the PNGs so that you can just add these to your planner and make it look like this. It'll be super pretty and easy to use.
and OneNote doesn't have to be intimidating. You can still have a beautiful um, planner that looks like something special, but you can also, you know, use it to its fullest purpose here and, you know, add your meeting details and you'll be able to see exactly what's on your calendar. That's why I love using my leader standard work template because then I can line up my meeting details with the leader standard work template. And um, so yeah, that's why OneNote's so awesome. Okay, you guys, that's enough me rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe and consider getting the bundle to make yourself make your life easier. And if you have planners you love that you can already just insert like this, I would highly recommend it. Take care.